Hey y'all. All right, now I'm screen recording this for my YouTube since my last video on Instagram did not post, has not posted, still has a little itty bit to go, but fuck it. I did have someone comment that, oh, this is interesting, keep going, so I felt like I needed to go a little deeper into Jesus Christ. And I asked my cards, what is the truth to Jesus Christ? Now, I have to start with, if you know nothing of, it's predominantly Asian cultures that have delved into vibrations and sounds and words and what things mean the vibration of words and mantras then maybe you can understand why i am so against jesus christ that phrase and what that sound does and fuck y'all that are against me smoking but I'm gonna do it anyways maybe it's cause I'm afraid of going to my full energetic potential and I wanna you know huh. whatever but um the literal sound that the words Jesus Christ does to my body makes me want to vomit. And all of you people that worship, I want to slap you people, but it's whatever. Look into the Council of Nicaea. Look into all of the religions or faiths or mythologies, which I believe more in mythology than I would of a fucking religion that's been around for 2,000 years. The whole amount of the Kali Yuga. But it's whatever. Jesus Christ... is a very negative vibrational phrase. And if you're worshiping that, you are worshiping the Anunnaki, the creators of your religion that is basically based on blood sacrifice. You fucking Catholics, <laughs> the largest religion on the earth, basically eat the body and drink the blood of Christ. If you don't see anything wrong with cannibalism, there's something seriously wrong with you because you're basically worshiping blood sacrifice and cannibalism. But I digress. It's whatever. Y'all want to believe what you want to believe. Whatever. But um, the Abrahamic faiths are based on some pretty evil shit that... Yes, there are some positive things in the Bible and in the Quran, in the Jewish faith, but uh, it's been watered down to the point where you're worshipping evil shit. Like, all you need to do is some research and quit. Like, oh, my faith is all I need. Do some research into where your religion originates from. 
maybe you'd understand. Maybe if you took some other points of view, some other perspectives of much older faiths and mythologies, which mythology I will believe more in than your <laughs> book of God, but it's whatever. Okay, the question that I asked was, what is the truth of Jesus Christ? So let us tell you. Sure. Many people will find this offensive, but fuck you. Yeshua was an actual being, and he's not spoken about like Jesus Christ is, so it's whatever. But what is the truth of Jesus Christ? All right, I'm using the Urban Crow Oracle with, what is this, the Crooked Cat Tarot. All right, we have Commitment with the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit. So what is the truth of Jesus Christ? A commitment to an ideal, to a doctrine, First, you have the male and female, which the story of Jesus is, you know, the daughter of Mary, the supposed virgin. I'm not going to get into that, but you have the commitment to a faith. And then you have the eight of pentacles and the hermit. So the commitment to a faith that is... Physically manifested as oh, making money. A lot of people have made money off of the faith of Christianity, Judaism, Islam. A lot of people have profited from it. And then you have the hermit. When you believe in that, you're all alone. Your faith is bullshit. Like, you're just profiting from something that is not real, that you are alone in, because you're making profit off of a commitment that makes money. That is not true. Like, yes, the hermit can be deciphered in alternative ways, but the way I'm reading it in this line is <laughs> all you're getting is profit from this commitment and you stand alone. You are not gaining enlightenment from taking money from people that are faithful in something that is bullshit. Then, because they usually just take two lines, but we had three crow cards come out, so we have gifts with judgment and the king of pentacles so what is the truth of jesus christ you think you get these gifts from jesus christ jesus but all of these gifts are faked you see the evangelical ev evangelicals the pope all of these fake people claiming to have prophecies and miracles done in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, they will be judged. They will be judged harshly for spewing bullshit. They will be judged with death. They will not be judged kindly by spreading that bullshit. With the King of Pentacles, they will be judged on what they took from these fake gifts to profit in the physical. That is all of these preachers and fake motherfuckers do is profit off of people that supposedly have faith in something they take your money 
and they will be judged for it. If you are a small-minded person that just has faith in something that is larger than yourself, you will not be judged as harshly. But you have to know that what you are believing in is just giving others money and earthly possessions. They are just sitting there like, you stupid bitches keep giving me money and I keep buying planes. <laughs> they will be judged on the gifts that you give them. Then we have luck. With the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so they think they have luck since they're telling you a bunch of lies. They're just eating that shit up. It's just falling in droves because people are so stupid to believe in what they're talking about. That they're just eating that shit up. And it's all lies. Seven of Swords. That is the ultimate card of lies. And with the Six of Pentacles, they think, well, you think, those that believe in it, that you're getting all this help. When all they're doing is stealing your prayers and your money and deceiving you into grasping something that is not real. You're grasping at straws. They are lies. You will never have what evangelicals, the Pope, your religious doctrines are telling you you will receive. It's lies. Lies. They're stealing from you. Not that you shouldn't believe in anything, just Jesus Christ is bullshit. And it's the bi vibration of something very evil, and they're stealing from you in that name. If anything, believe in Yeshua. And then we have Exposed with the Four of Swords. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be exposed as a liar, a manipulator, an indoctrinator, a fraud. What will you do? You will rest. This says rest in peace, but um, you will just be exposed to your eternal rest. If you're an evangelical, a pope, a priest, whatever, you will be exposed for a liar and a manipulator that what you have preached for millennia will be exposed as bullshit. Those that did believe that wanted to have faith in something, you will have rest. Because you did have faith in something, but you put your faith in the wrong hands. There is nothing wrong in having faith in something bigger than yourself. That there is a supreme being. That there is something beyond this reality. But those that lied to you, manipulated you, stole from you, will lie underground. They will not be forgiven. For having faith in something, you will find the truth. So, although I can't, this looks like my hair is just sticking out, but it's just my ponytail. I took it out of my French braid. But, um, in order to truly believe in the higher 
powers. There is so much to this world that you will never understand. And if you're fucking indoctrinated into Christianity, Judaism, Islam, unless you wake the fuck up to what's actually happening, you'll be lost. Hopefully your soul will live on to the next life, but um, what's happening right now is they're using all of that against you to trap your soul. And you need to see the truth. That the doctrine that has been taught during this Kali Yuga, the past 2,000 years, is bullshit. And you need to look into other perspectives perspectives, other faiths, other beliefs, other mythologies. Mythology is more truth than any of your fucking religious bullshit that is here today. Eh, Maybe hard for some people to believe, but if you've never known anything else, then how do you know? If you've never done any research, how the fuck do you know? I'm sorry to tell you, but um, you need to do some research. You need to open your mind that there is more than you have grown up on. Because most people that are in these religions grew up on it. It was taught to them by their parents. Open your mind. Look at other perspectives and belief systems. And maybe you will understand. What I'm trying to say, like, nobody is completely ignorant. You have the ability to look beyond what you have been taught. And there's a lot, there's a lot you can learn. So go beyond what your parents or your community or your church has taught you and learn because life is so much bigger than your little fucking bible or your quran or whatever the fuck you've been taught is bullshit there's some little truths to it but most of it is evil you think eating the body of christ and drinking the blood of christ is something good That's blood sacrifice and cannibalism. How the fuck do you think that's good? Learn. Open your mind, open your heart to other systems of belief. Alright, that's all I got. Love y'all.